Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Captain Chang Plays Cold Waters. Uh, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we are going to be playing the single mission scenario, Beating the Odds. A Sturgeon class SSN encounters a massive Soviet surface strike group in the North Cape. Uh, there is a Kirov class battlecruiser in the middle. Destroy the Kirov and survive. This sounds easy enough, but we're looking at a lot of enemies, very likely. There's going to be helicopter patrols, there's going to be escorts up the wazoo, and uh, how are we going to get our way into the screen and sink the ship? I'm not sure I can, but we will find out. All right, let's get the mission started. Just keep in mind, Sturgeon class is a little older. Okay, uh, we have five knots. We have uh, quite a bit of water. We're only at 55, so we need to go a bit deeper. And let's go battle stations. We're not getting any closer. There's a moderate thermal layer at 97, so we definitely need to get beneath that. But first things first. On sonar, new contact bearing. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Okay, we are going to. Let's see. We'll check. Let us replace one of these with a decoy, just in case somebody gets a little lucky on us. Let's go... I have a feeling they're going that way, so we are going this way. Let's see, let's double check the conditions. We are just above the layer, so let's slow down to two knots, just in case. Let's start identifying the contacts. Let's see, we have one. Okay, uh, let's assume that is an escort. And, uh, no, there's another line there. There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, we don't know which way they're going, so let's start heading north Helm instead. One, zero, zero, zero. Helm I. Okay, Helm we just picked up S2. Let's see. Looks like another. Let's see. Let's start from the beginning. Since when Kirov has a toad array? Huh. I guess it does. Horse tail, low frequency toad. <laughs> yes, I should be reading the uh, specs a little closer. Okay, uh, but our new contact bearing zero seven one designated Sierra three. Oh, this is definitely an escort. He's uh driving hard. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as escort. Okay, looks like we just hit a bad patch of water. We lost a lot of our solution. We definitely... Oh, no. Steady course. We're going to need a bit better solution than that to shoot at the Kirov. 
we are going to need at least 60%, if not 80. So, right now, the only thing we can do is we have to wait until the solution comes back. And there's no way we are listening to something and that's 56 kilometers away. Uh, there's clearly something goofy going on here. The radar, etc. So we are just going to point ourselves north and we are going to slowly accelerate time and trying to get a little more I'm not hearing any helicopters. Interesting. I guess it's possible. Okay. The Cashin is not hearing us. The Cannon is not hearing us, but somehow Eroff may be hearing us. Actually, the solution in this case is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to be go below the layer. So we're going to... Make 152. And we are going to shoot the torpedo. I'm pretty sure the Kirov is actually over here. There's, uh, it is very unlikely for it to be actually that far away. I'm pretty sure. I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Because if he is actually, because you see, this thing is only 55%, whereas the cannon, we're at 81% already, and this guy is at 75%. So we are going below the layer. Once we get to 150, we'll shoot our Contour, torpedoes. Lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 0, 7, 1, contact faded. And we can get a little closer. Let's go 045. Come right to 0, 4, 5, helm I. Okay. When we're ready, we can shoot uh, our torpedoes below the layer. Okay, we are at 130. I think we can shoot now. How many wires does how many wires can we control? I honestly don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's only Okay, well pretty sure it's only three. I mean it's only two. Uh, Sturgeons can only control two torpedoes, so we are going to keep two, and uh, and then now that we are here, let's go back up to go back up above the layer. So as you can see, the torpedoes are traveling below the layer but we're going back above the layer just to make sure the torpedo gets there Con sonar lost contact Con helm steady course 
course. You what I mean? Con, dive at seven six, dive by. Okay, we travel six kilometers, so let's go ahead and turn our torpedoes in. I think we have a solution on the Kirov already, but in case, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be, they're going to be down here. The cannon has uh, the cash in. Notice that we don't still have not reached like 80, like 80 or 90% solution. And then we haven't reestablished contact on the caching. On the other hand, if we take a look at the signature panel, we can see that even if they go active, they're not close enough to acquire me. So now we're just patiently waiting here until we get the contact back okay looks like we have contact on the Kirov he's changing speed a bit he's only 28 kilometers away and we are just going to point right about here and we are going to dedicate both torpedoes to the Kirov. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing zero eight zero. They just did an active ping on us, so I think somebody has heard something. Interesting. It was below the layer and they still heard it? Maybe it's the Kirov that heard it. Okay, Kirov is accelerating. The problem is, if I activate this now... No, we'll wait. But there's a chance the Kirov can get away. Kirov is at 18. Eighteen, twenty. On the other hand, whoa. Somebody has heard something, that's for sure. We got Sono Buoy's drops over here. Let's turn away from this area. Come left to three zero eight Helm I. And let's go down one notch to ninety one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kirov is still over here. Which means it still has a long ways to go, but we need to keep an eye out. Because we don't want the sooner will you drop next to us. Your office accelerated to 27 knots. And uh, let's see. How's the torpedo going? Oh, no. It may run out. Helm, 
any course. So you see, that's why you don't stay near your own torpedoes, and you don't you try to uh, shoot Helm a right different three, heading. Three, two. Helm, I. What we're gonna do is we're gonna accelerate to five knots because we know these five enemies knots. have no idea where they're going, and Bring we're gonna stay on silent running. The problem here is Kirov has reached 30 knots, and I'm not sure these torpedoes will be able to catch it. On the other hand, if we sink the cannon, the cannon, If that can get the Kirov to run back here, then the two may be able to catch it because, as you can see, it's uh, it's about to run out of uh, endurance. See, it we just about to run out of endurance right there. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and activate. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Stay up here. Yes, I'm intentionally turning on the sonar in the weapon, so it will go active, so intentionally attract some attention to make the enemy seem the attack is coming from a different direction. In the meantime, the torpedo, by the time it gets here, it's going. we're going to be long gone. We're going to be four kilometers away, and hopefully this torpedo will sink the Kashin, and the Kirov will run back here because it is. Okay, let's see, uh, torpedo three. Why has it not dropped the noisemaker? Maybe it doesn't have one. I have no idea. Torpedo 3 is looking across the circle, final homing. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1, last bearing 0, 7, 9, contact breaking up. Let's reload that torpedo and see how the Kirov reacts. Okay, looks like cannon is not reacting much. I think he's a little confused. Yeah, Kirov is turning. Kirov is turning, so let's turn around. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's wonderful being able to predict how the enemy works. Okay. Let's uh, ready to launch. Uh, let's see. Can the cannon hear us? That's the. Can we launch? Yeah, sure, no problem. Let's go ahead and uh, launch this torpedo. And uh, yeah, let's go this way. Shoot two four. 
Aye, sir. We'll let it travel, say, to the 16 kilometer line, and oh, then we'll turn it toward two, the cannon. Ready. Not sure that's going to be enough, though. Here off. Hopefully, it turns all the way around. But. Probably should have done that a little sooner, but we got time. And at the minimum, we would have slowed down here off, so uh, that helps. Okay, it looks like... The patrol plane is still up there, and he has dropped it at third buoy, uh, which means they kind of heard my launch transient. In the meantime, my torpedo here should be able to good at give up good smacking to the Kirov. We can activate when it is about one and a half kilometers away. The Mark 48 has uh, very good sensors. Actually, let's activate a little closer than that. I'm not sure how much endurance it has left. Oh, shoot. It only has... Uh, this is not good. Because it only has 40 seconds, and by the time it activates, it only has 10 seconds of seeking. Ah, hell. One, two, three. Scott, activate. Fire control. Weapon acquired. No, you don't. Get back here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Oh no, it's not going to be enough. Ah. Uh, fine. That's okay. We can't scare away the Kirov now. It will just come back. It will just keep coming at us. Two, three. Aye, sir. Let's launch another one. Since now Kirov is coming back... It's not going to be scared away. Uh, We only have two wires, so we're not firing that third torpedo unless we really, really uh, want to. On the other hand, we could start turning the torpedo toward the cache now. And uh, let's see, let's pull it back a little bit. Okay, this one. Yeah, Kirov is coming back no matter what. So what we'll do is we'll start heading north again, uh, just to keep the, right to zero, zero, so we can zero, get a little no closer line. without. Getting any closer to these sono buoys. These sono buoys are listening, and we don't really want to fire a torpedo toward it because they can extrapolate our position from that. 
On the other hand, we've already fired around these solar buoys, so they are... So the cannon is going to be sunk, and then the Kirov is trying to avenge uh, her escorts, and we, are, we will have a couple torpedoes waiting for it. We are not releasing the, the control on the, uh, on the cannon yet. Uh, the cannon is not even close to being uh, detected. We're at the minus 17, so he's not. He might get to oh, minus no. 15, but our torpedo is going to meet him before it gets to zero. And in the meantime, we can listen to him all day. In fact, we don't even need the tow array. Let's retract that. Yeah, I can hear the uh, Hiroff just going full blast here. He's going 32 knots. He's not going to be hearing anything. And then we're going to be doing the same thing here. We're going to... Uh, let's see. Almost time to... Yeah, that torpedo was... Four should be activating now. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, four, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, see? He doesn't know where the torpedo is either. Maybe he does. Hmm. The torpedo is kind of coming toward me a little bit. Let's, uh... Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, nine, one. Rig shift for ultra quiet. And let's go below the layer. Let's go down to 200. Two, zero, zero, dive on. And let's start turning number tur torpedo three toward our friend uh, Kirov there. And uh, time to steer torpedo four. And, oh, almost no need for it. Well, or the dust. Hey, as I said, sometimes the automatic programs work quite well. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing zero nine four. Just keep pointing it toward the position. Sometimes it will just go off. And we are going to fire another torpedo uh, to compensate. Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. And we are going to 10 knots. Turns for one, zero knot. Maneuvering eye. And the reason we're going 10 knots is we are below the layer. And the Kirov is going nuts, of course. But Kirov is going 32 knots, so he is not going to be using the towed array. In the meantime, we need to get out of whatever this area is. And the best way to do that, obviously, is to accelerate. It should be a while... We're at 200 meters, and we are going to get the heck out of this area. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. And the best thing about the Mark 48 is we are very well controlled. The wires are almost indestructible. And as I said, the Kirov won't be able to do anything. Our passive sonar has picked up the enemy torpedo fired this way. And according to this uh, 
So as you can see, it's firing this way. So it's going to travel down here and it should intersect our trajectory roughly here. So it's going to be more than two kilometers away, but I doubt it can sense us at this uh, distance, but we're not taking chances. We're just going to go nice and easy 10 knots. We can probably do five, but why take the chance? Plus we're below the layer. You might have noticed the cannon when it was sunk, there was actually another torpedo he fired. Uh, we have no idea where that torpedo went, but we are just going to stay nice and calm and let it come. Because I doubt he knows where we are. In fact, let's accelerate time a little bit. Uh, this is going to be the point where we turn torpedo number two, so we will use the green dot as a marker. Remember, shift, left click, drops a green dot. Con uh, shift, right click, drops a red dot. So that is uh, useful for just marking some uh, navigation points. So now we're just going to accelerate time a little bit. Let's confirm 2 is going past the dot. Okay. 2 then. Uh, we just turned off the... So we are going to turn... this to this this to this yeah okay we can slow it back down to Rig shift for ultra quiet. okay Kirov is getting a little closer and just to stack the odds in our favor a little bit we're going to turn 45 degrees away from it so that his active sonar is far less likely to work Remember, uh, active sonar produces a bigger signature when... Con, helm, okay, course. we have turned to 314. Let's go back up above the layer. The layer is at 90-something, so let's go to 76. Remember, the la uh, layer is at 97. And the torpedo is right at that level. One torpedo is above and one torpedo is below. On the other hand, as I said, Hirov is going at 32 knots. He's not going to be able to hear anything. So we have two torpedoes heading for the Kirov. And I use their, I use his own escorts as bait. Life sometimes a little delicious like that. Let's get ready to control number three. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay. Uh, weapon has acquired. Dive at seven, six, dive by. I think he just fired something, although I'm not sure what exactly did he fire at, but it doesn't really matter. All right, torpedo is seeking. Okay, we have managed to hit the Kirov, and uh, we've wounded it. You, as you can hear, the uh, engines are definitely running a bit slower now, and he still has no idea where we are, and here comes the follow-up torpedo.
let's go back to the big map. We are well, uh, that torpedo is well behind us now, and we have no sign of the other torpedo. We're loading, so we're so we're not doing silent running. But since we're 76 feet, let's go ahead and pop the. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, show the uh, total ray. It's just so we can get a good idea of how the uh, here off is doing. Kirov has slowed to 21 knots. I doubt it will survive another torpedo, but one never knows. On the other hand, the other torpedo is coming at it below the layer. And its noisemaker that it dropped helped a little bit. Con, torpedo room, two, three, it ready. did temporarily confuse my torpedo, but I was able to just do a slight manual adjustment around it. It is not doing too well. It is at it has slowed all the way down to 15, 14. I don't think it's going to slow any further. Oh, it is slowing to 13. Mm, I don't know. Is he going to go even slower? Oh, he has a couple. Okay, looks like a helicopter has dropped a torpedo here. On the other hand, oh, he's firing torpedo all over the place. But, as I said, we've dogleg this torpedo so much, they have no idea where we are. He has fired a torpedo here, and his rocket torpedoes have dropped torpedoes over here and here. But, remember, we fired this. We are way back here. That is the power of the Mark uh, 48. How far is the torpedo now? The torpedo is now 17 kilometers, and by the time it hit the Kirov, it's going to be about 22. Well, uh, 23. But that's the fun part of using a Mark 48. Kirov has slowed all the way to 10 knots. I guess its uh, flooding is. Uh, Getting uh, a bit problematic. But we are above the layer. And we're basically waiting for the torpedo to hit. As of now, we are completely safe. There is no torpedo anywhere near us. There is no sonar buoy anywhere near us. And the helicopter, well, I have no idea where to launch the helicopter or not. I didn't see, hear any dipping sonars. I believe those uh, are dropped by uh, ass rocks. They look like they are dropped by those uh, rocket uh, carrying torpedoes. So, let's go ahead and accelerate time a little bit, because this is getting a little boring. Okay, let's adjust the trajectory a little bit. Should we activate active or not? I mean, should we let Kirov know death is coming? Uh, Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Turns out we don't have to. Yeah, their torpedoes are just circling around. They have no idea. In the meantime, my torpedoes are closing in. Ready to deal with the final blow to the mighty Kirov. Already with a hole on the side, as you can see there. And uh, this is about to be the coup de gras. Okay, steer right. Steer right. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing one zero two. Contact breaking up. 
And there goes the mighty Kirov. Although that was kind of cute, there used to be... Did you notice there used to be a couple guys that were standing on the flight deck? And there was none after the... Impact? Okay, let's go below, and yes, the poor Kirov is sinking, sinking, sinking. And it did drop a noisemaker, except it's not doing it any good now. We did, uh, did a slight bit of a manual override to make sure the torpedo impacted. And as you can see, there's nothing left of the Kirov and her two escorts. Oops. Okay, so, folks, this should be the end of the mission. Indeed, we have green light to disengage. Uh, just as a customary uh, post-combat, let's go ahead and load this last torpedo. Let's check our contacts. There is a torpedo going south, and the two circling torpedoes launched by the rocket is have expired. They didn't find anything. Uh, one of them circled above the cannon for a while, but let's go ahead and uh, we can uh, look at our ship and we can actually look at the sunken ships. Uh, the game engine does allow us to do that. Uh, the Kirov is going to take a little time to s actually hit the bottom. There it is. Yeah, it's uh, hit tail first and then it's going to slowly collapse forward. There is a fix physics model here. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, fall seems to be a little too fast for me. I know, it's a giant ship and it probably that the tail impacting the Con, room. ground should probably should have crushed it. But, all three ships are sunk, and that is how you deal with surface ships uh, when you have a torpedo advantage, like the big Mar 48. And remember, sturgeons are not exactly new subs. They are less than the... they are an uh, earlier version of the 688. They precede the 688. Anyway... That is going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, How Submarine Combat Works Against Surface Units. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video if you think uh, you've enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I can sincerely say only 10% of you are subscribers according to the latest YouTube analytics I have. So, again, please subscribe so I can be encouraged into making more videos like this for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.